Presented by Caltech. The United States faces an enormous challenge in training clever, innovative, transformative scientists and engineers who can make a difference for our generation and the next generation. Of course, at Caltech, we have the opportunity to train what we hope will be the leaders in terms of applying quantitative skills to solve problems in all kinds of disciplines. You need a library, I think, of tricks and innovations where the point is to get the students engaged, to get the dialogue going, to get the students to come to class so that the learning can happen. Great teaching is really important at Caltech. Um, may it be collaboration um, on a research project or just learning the material or the theory from a class. My favorite class is the professor is very inspiring and so he will often work with the students or he will provide examples of this is how you use it in real life. And that enthusiasm and vigor is something that transfers so easily to students when they see it in their teachers. So being a good teacher, being a great teacher, is so integral for uh, developing the passion of the next generation of scientists. I think it's an incredibly exciting time for teaching at Caltech. We launched the Center for Teaching, Learning, and Outreach in 2012, and since then we've worked with over half of the faculty and every new teaching assistant here at Caltech. These collaborations have included large-scale course transformations, small redesigns, and sometimes just making everyday teaching and learning interactions more rewarding and effective. In October 2015, Caltech had its first ever Teach Week, a full week of workshops, discussions, open classes, and events on teaching. We had different speakers come in and share their experience and their strategy and what's the best way to teach. Um, and there's just a lot of exchange of ideas and that's really helpful. I'm really happy to be here today to tell you a little bit about this new course that I developed. At least that's what I thought. I was really excited coming here too. But after listening to the previous three talks, I feel like I'm more excited about coming here and to learn about how to teach. My most visible innovations in this class were asking questions to be answered with clickers and also introducing an online discussion forum. I will keep experimenting, I will keep consulting the CTLO, which is a wonderful resource, and I'm having a great time. Perhaps the biggest change to the curriculum, as far as teaching goes, that students are very, very excited about is the flipped classroom setting. These are basically hybrid classes where you watch the video lecture earlier and then you go into class and instead of being lectured at, you're working on some problem. You are up at the board working in small groups of people doing problems and you are really, really getting an insight into how to do these problems and if you're struggling, you're struggling with someone who can help. Being a TA at Caltech in one word is awesome. Uh, I've never been to a university where the outreach, the teaching opportunities, the emphasis on teaching is so important. I am constantly impressed by the participation and dedication of Caltech faculty and teaching assistants. They are showing up in full force to grapple with new ideas about how to teach in the sciences at the advanced levels that we have here at Caltech. The most exciting thing to me is when they take these new ideas and apply them to their classes with creative and often truly outstanding results. Here's the puzzle. I need to solve it. I need to understand what is the things we didn't quite know yet behind the failed experiments. So that's the kind of thing that I uh, tried to explore with the students and try to encourage them to have fun with. I think the best teaching tool is passion and love for what you do. And I think each of the teachers up here has conveyed their love for the material. I'm completely excited about everything I heard, and I hope you are too. There is genius, of course, in terms of being an effective teacher, but it doesn't come by accident. It comes from data, from understanding what works and what doesn't work, from doing experiment. And we have obligations as faculty members to excel in this field as in our basic scientific research. And it's that interwoven whole of research and education that makes Caltech special.